It's been a tense day for many parents after this video surfaced showing a student explaining what's being investigated as a plot to shoot up Magnolia West High School. Now, we first reported this story as breaking news last night at 10 o'clock, and since then, we have learned the 19-year-old man arrested is involved with the school's ROTC program. Jake Reiner is joining us live in Magnolia. Jake, let's begin, if you will, with this. Some parents are upset because they weren't told about this right away, correct? Bill, it's interesting you mentioned that because some parents, when they learned about this alleged terroristic plot here at Magnolia West High School, some of them say they were concerned they hadn't heard about it before our 10 o'clock news last night. A Facebook profile picture of Thomas Cade Martin shows and authorities confirmed he was a part of the junior ROTC program at Magnolia West. I would walk outside. But this cell phone video channel 2 obtained describes a dark, detailed plan. Three football fields is the length away from the top of the bleachers where my shooting position would be and the front door of the high school. Then when the bombs exploded, people would come running out, and I would have a perfect shot. Martin has since been arrested, and we tried to see if his family could explain what happened. Explain something real quick. We were met with a courteous door slam. We did find a Facebook post from Martin saying he didn't know he was being recorded. Quote, people who know me are fully aware that I would never do such a terrible thing. I've done nothing wrong. I am clearly the subject of an extremely cruel joke. It's a harsh lesson. Janet Epperson lives near the Martin family, and her son is also a student at Magnolia West. She kept her son home today, but she says she wished Magnolia ISD alerted parents sooner yesterday. Hey, my mother told me that you, you guys led the news with it last night. I asked Magnolia ISD about when they heard about the threat and when officials alerted parents, and they said that they, they couldn't comment any further on the ongoing investigation. However, authorities did manage to clear the school last night of any threats, and the classes resume today. For now, we're live in Magnolia. Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News.